What's up, YouTube and the rest of the internet, I guess? Um, hi. Uh, I'm here to do some yo-yo reviews. Um, with this series, uh, I'm going to be reviewing a lot of different yo-yos. Um, I'm not a great player by any means, so I'll be coming at it from kind of a beginner's, intermediate, advanced, beginning, advanced standpoint. And uh, I'm going to try to talk about style. I'm not going to really focus on the specs too much unless it's important to the yo-yo I'm talking about, which today it actually is, so I'm going to kind of break that rule right away. And I'll try to keep it short as much as I can. Um, so anyway, let's uh, get right into it, shall we? Actually, something I just got recently, which has been a lot of fun, Yo-Yo Empire Big Bang. Um, this is a really fun yo-yo. So actually, Yo-Yo Empire, I believe, I've seen on the Reddit, someone mentioned that um, they're also in the Americas, uh, known as Zikio, or they might be like related to that company. And they do a lot of really kind of interesting styles of yo-yos and they do OEM for some other companies. Someone was saying like Start the Riot or Rebellion or something like that. And uh, Yo-Yo Empire does some really interesting stuff with their yo-yos is why I like them. Uh, when you look at them you'll see immediately why they're different from other companies and I think they're a lot of fun. So um, this is the um, Yo-Yo Empire Big Bang and the reason it's called the Big Bang is you can probably see this thing is huge. Um, it's a diameter of 65 millimeters and its width is 53 millimeters and the gap width is 4.6 millimeters which is like pretty big. Um, as far as I could tell this was bigger than the Gargantua which I also own and the Yeti 2.0 which are both known as like oversized throws so uh, the weight is 66.8. This looks kind of heavy I think but when you hold it the weight is pretty light. Um, I like it lighter yo-yo, so as soon as I picked this up, I was like really shocked. When you first hold it, maybe it's the fact that it's huge but the weight is so light that you feel like, oh, I don't know what to think of this. But very quickly, you'll kind of see this yo-yo really isn't messing around. First of all, uh, you can see it's made of this plastic, um, which is POM, I guess, P-O-M, I don't know. Um, but this plastic is really, really nice. Um, I expected it to feel like the Cabal, but the Cabal is more like a bar of soap, I feel like. And this one is, uh, which is not a bad thing, but this one is extremely smooth. Um, I suppose it's been blasted somehow, which uh, the finger grinds on this thing are amazing. Um, and actually, I'm not that good at finger grinds, but I'm not saying this will make you a pro at them, but definitely um, this made me practice them more because the balance on this thing is crazy. I'll put a video over this while I'm talking, but... Uh, you can probably see by the way I threw the breakaway, it's pretty sketchy. But this thing is so well balanced that I kind of pulled a finger grind out of nowhere and saved it, even though my throw was off. Thank you. Um, Another thing I like about this is you'll see this little uh, space in here. It's not dimpled, so I feel like it's not as much of a cheat as some yo-yos. Like I learned to finger spin on a C3 move and a Skybo, of course, everybody knows that one. And this one is really small. So this trained me to get super accurate with finger spins. And um, I'll overlay a, a video of me doing some different spins with this, but But landing in this zone, because it's so small, is really satisfying. And whatever metal this is they used is really comfortable. Um, it just feels like it's gonna keep spinning and spinning and spinning. Now your finger will kind of run into the end a little bit here, um, near like the second half of this finger spin, but 
you shouldn't be finger spinning for more than a few seconds anyway. Like anybody who's measuring like this thing finger spins for like three minutes, four minutes, like, sorry, I, I don't know. Like it's good that it can finger spin that long, but who's really doing that? There's kind of tricks for that long. So I, that's just for me. Like, I don't really care about that. Like I landed in there, it spins really comfortably. It doesn't slow down. I can whip it. Like that's all I really need, you know? I like how the finger spin area is not taking away from the design. Um, I feel like yo-yos like the C3 move, I talked about three C3 yo-yo design move, and the um, jackknife. I feel like the dimple kind of takes away from the design a little bit, or like even the Space Cadet, which I love, it's bimetal, has the dimple in the center for finger spins, but like, I feel like it, I'm having a dog fight in the park here. Like this looks super clean and I really like that. And the, you know, the finish is really matte, which is really nice. You can get this in other colors. There's like a white and a blue one, which looks kind of like Tron, which I really like. Um, but I feel like this looks really nice. And I think it has kind of a toy feel, but it's super classy at the same time. And the store I bought this from is Spin Gear, which is in Japan. It says the rim material here is palm and then the body is palm. So I don't know if this is like a separate piece. It doesn't feel like it, but it looks like it's been kind of like, you know, glued in or welded in or something. In any case, this does have rim weight, so it is pretty stable. But this yo-yo is big, and there's no getting around that. This thing is huge. And even people who don't yo-yo, like um, I work at a school, and the, the kids who watch me playing are like, that thing's big, is that a yo-yo? I'm like, yeah, this is like the biggest thing I own. Um, but it does feel under control. Like, I can change direction with it really fast. I'll show a video um, of uh, doing a couple tricks that, like a double or nothing to something else. And this thing, you can stop it and whip it right back around, like no problem. It really uh, controls well, and I think that's because it's light, light on the lighter side. It's very forgiving because it has that huge gap. So like doing whips or doing uh, anything that you need to get the string into the gap is going to be super easy with it. And the response is no problem. Like I've never had any bind slip. In fact, um, it's pretty perfect for me because the gap is pretty big and I'm pretty lazy with my binds. So I, if I miss it, it's my fault. And I do that on all my yo-yos, but this one has been reminding me because the gap is so big, I need to like actually bind properly. This um, yo-yo is really awesome. Um, it kind of ticks all the boxes I want for the kind of yo-yo that I want. Uh, since I work in a place with a lot of kids, I need something durable because even if I'm not letting kids hold my yo-yos, which I'm usually not because I don't trust them, it might get bonked, it might get bumped on a desk or something when I carry it around. It's nice to have a plastic. Um, it grinds, like I said, it finger grinds. Um, I haven't tried any palm grinds, but it's a bit big for that, but my hands are pretty big, so it probably wouldn't be a problem. Um, it finger spins like a dream, which is really nice. Usually I have a kind of, um, a checklist for the kind of yo-yos that I like and I want it to be able to finger spin because I'm practicing that a lot and it's easy it's an easy thing to practice just while you're standing still uh, the one thing I would say is it's not exactly a pocket yo-yo obviously um, so it is bulky if you're like wanting to put it in your pocket that's not gonna happen it looks ridiculous when it's in your pocket I wear it on my belt anyway so it doesn't bother me but it pretty much ticks all the boxes I need like when I got this I was really shocked by how much I liked it and for me, it's pretty much the perfect plastic. Um, I really like plastic yo-yos. I've got a Replay Pro, Big Dipper, Skyva, a couple other ones. Uh, Speedaholic, I think, too, and the, uh, oh, the Gargantua, and the Yeti 2.0. And uh, this just ticks every box because, like, yeah, the Yeti can do finger grinds, but it doesn't really do spins as well, finger spins as well. The Replay is really well balanced, but it's heavy for me. The Skyva is awesome, but it doesn't grind. I love finger grinds, so like this just does everything. So right now I'm gonna put up the pros and the cons for me on what I think about this yo-yo and if it's you know worth buying it or not. Um, so of course pros, it's big. Uh, I love the size. It fits in my hand perfectly. I love that. It's nice looking. I think this is a super classy looking throw. I've got the hot pink kitty on here, so. It can finger spin, as I said. I'll show some videos of that. It's really, really comfortable. I love catching this. I've never had a painful catch, even when I like a really hard bind. 
Um, it's really comfortable, really smooth. It feels nice in your hand. It doesn't slip around a lot. Um, and I, yeah, I just love the, the simplistic design. No like laser engravings or anything. Um, cons, um, it's big. Again, that's a pro for me, but it could be a con for some people, especially kids. They probably wouldn't have a great time with this. And some of the people I've let handle it said, oh, this thing's too big, I don't know. But like for me, it's perfect. I have big hands, so it's really good. Um, and I think this might just be me. I've had this problem on um, the Big Dipper as well. I think because um, it's big and because the weight is lighter, I think maybe it might suffer from uh, shorter spin times. That being said, like when I throw it really hard and I rush, not rush, but I go through my combos in a decent pace, I never run out of time. But it doesn't feel like it's like snapping back to you like a like a benchmark or like a top deck or something. Like top deck always comes slamming back to your hand no matter what. But like this feels a little bit more gentle. And I kind of like that. Like I don't ever have to worry about like a rough mind that's going to hurt or anything like that. It's just really comfortable. Yeah, so that's it. That's the um, Yo-Yo Empire Big Bang. Um, I'm going to put some buy uh, links in the description. The only place I know that you can get this is Spin Gear. They do have a pretty good shipping options. Um, I got this for nearly uh, 5,000 yen, which is about 44 bucks, 45 bucks. Um, for what this can do, like this really is one of my favorites. I'm not putting down other plastic yo-yos, but for me, this is like really where it's at um, as far as plastic gears go so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this review um, please let me know if there's anything I can fix I know I probably don't look at the camera as much as I should or I'm saying um or like a lot uh, I don't know how the lighting is gonna be so we'll have to see how that goes yeah and if you have any advice or things you'd like me to change um, let me know uh, remember you can always like, comment, and subscribe. I hate when people say that. But uh, yeah, this is the Yo Yo Empire Big Bang, and uh, I think he, this Yo Yo will give you a lot of big bang for your buck.